Hey guys, it's Zach from Studio Z and DNP Photo. Um, doing a little video for you today showing you the updates to the Wireless Connect module, also known as the WCM by DNP Photo. Uh, if you've used it in the past at first release earlier in 2020, or if you haven't used it yet and have maybe read about it or heard about it, it has changed a lot since then. It has gained tremendous speed in the wireless world, and I'm going to show you today um, from an iOS device and from Windows wirelessly to my DMP QW410 printer that I have sitting on the uh, media console there. Um, so first thing to note, the, the WCM shares your wireless network. So right now it is paired on my home network, so I don't have to change uh, networks on my iOS device or my Windows computer. Um, it stays on my home Wi-Fi. It'll see that printer and it'll send everything wirelessly. So um, what we're going to do is I took a quick selfie. I'm just going to go to the share button, scroll down to where it says print, and it's going to pop up and you're going to see there it shows my printer. I actually have two. Uh, I set up two drivers within the WCM, uh, a 4x6 and a 4x4 square. We're going to do 4x6 today. Um, you can set your copy count. You can tell it if it's black and white for some enhanced color. And I'm going to put a stopwatch on it. So what we're going to do here is hit print. I'm going to wait for it to spool. And there we go. I'm going to put a clock on it and see it should take about 10 seconds. There it is. 10 seconds and it started printing. And from there it's just your normal print speeds. wait for that to finish and in the meantime I've got my Windows computer set up on my TV here I've got a photo set up um, and I'm just gonna go to the print icon and you'll see in my drop down I have my 620 that was hardwired I have my 410 when it's hardwired and this one here that shows my 410 and then it has the at symbol and it says DNP wireless connect or WC that's the one we want one thing Windows is gonna do a little bit differently than iOS is it's not going to show you um, the proper page size. So as you see here, paper, it says eight and a half by 11. Um, ignore that. The Wireless Connect module is gonna override that setting and set it to the way you have it set up inside the Wireless Connect, which is a four by six. So what you wanna do is just make sure your photo size is set to the closest um, setting that, that the driver has. So we're gonna set that to four by six and I'm gonna hit print and put a clock on this. So there we go. Um, I'm just going to pull up the print spool there too. You'll see it. Uh, as soon as that finishes spooling the 1.5 megabyte file, it should instantly start printing. So we're at 13 seconds there. It finished sending and it should take just a few more seconds to get it to the printer. So it is a little bit slower on Windows than it is on the iOS AirPlay. There you go, 23 seconds. And usually it's a little bit faster than that. Um, one thing I will note, this is file size dependent. So if you're pumping out 10 megabyte um, print images, you may want to rethink your settings there because it is going to take longer to spool, as which case it would take on a hardwired printer as well. Obviously, the more data it has to send, the longer it's going to take. But there you go. And if you haven't done black and white on a QW410 yet, let me tell you, uh, the iPad really doesn't do it justice here. Sorry for the lighting. The black and whites are amazing. They blow the 620 out of the water. Uh, I've never seen anything like it. Usually that's my biggest pet peeve with die sub printers is that it just doesn't handle black and whites well. But this QW410 is a game changer. If you guys have any questions, please let me or your DNP rep or authorized reseller know and we'll be glad to answer them for you. But yeah, if you own that wireless connect, go to dmpphoto.com, go to the page for the wireless connect module and follow the quick readme on how to update the firmware. It's pretty automatic. You basically just have to connect your box back to the internet and it should go automatically, but there are steps to double check to make sure it's been done. And if it hasn't, we'll, we can force an update for you. So yeah, get it done, have some fun. Let me know the results you get and we'll see you next time.